Josh translation is. I didn't yeah, know he was showing me. <laughs> Why you always put, put yourself, yourself down? down. Este video llega a ustedes gracias a nuestros patrones, especialmente Belki, Emilio, and the Noob Only Here, Edgar y Niño. Las hermanas gemelas oh. Y Luna Y hoy es sábado ¡Feliz sábado! Today we're gonna be reacting to An interview It's been a thing Interview with Rolling Stone <laughs> Rolling Stone This interview is Global domination Yeah It's a step Descripción gráfica Yes, definitely. Yes. This is awesome. Edwin, I think, was able to reach even more people. And yeah, they are, they are. We go up. We're getting there. We're getting okay. there. Period. Soon in our channel, we're going to be reacting to Edwin, I think. TM, Mac Rush to your crush. crush. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe, subscribe to this, this channel. channel. Activate the bell so you can get a notification whenever we upload that video and, and many, many others. others. Also, we have a Facebook page. It's called Minio TV Games. Go ahead and follow us over there because we stream video games every week and interact with you in the comments. After that, we upload a summary of our gameplays to our second YouTube channel, which is called Minio TV Games. Minio games. <laughs> <laughs> So go ahead and subscribe over there as well if you're interested in this kind of content. This video is gonna be watched first by our certified and verified Minionatics. If you wanna belong to them and enjoy the perks of supporting this channel, you only have to click the join button that is next to our subscribe button. Yes. And now let's watch this Rolling Stone interview because it's 26 minutes long. Uh, anyways, everybody, my morning guests of the day are members of a dynamic Pinoy pop band from the Philippines. They've already achieved so much since their first release in 2018, and they constantly strike a wonderful balance between dance pop and beautiful ballads. Their new EP, Pag Silboy, is available at midnight wherever you are. Wherever you are, it's available at midnight. Is and that they're true? gearing up for their first online concert back in the zone on August 1st. Please welcome... That just created more chaos, you know? <laughs> because <laughs> now everybody like, oh, I had to wait five hours. Oh my God, I had to wait so ten more, more hours. So more people is having this Yes, online. it's wherever you are. People <laughs> in Australia, they got it first than in the Philippines. Okay, so it's... <laughs> it's midnight. It's July 22nd, midnight, midnight wherever you wherever are. Wherever you are. Okay. So for us, it says if blog is not available, when you <laughs> click on that, this is wrong. Play. I prefer <laughs> that it's at midnight pH time, so I no. know I is, and then it's at if it were, wrong here. If, if that were the case, I would have been streaming this since today at noon. Oh my god, I'm addicted. I just stop. Anyway, no, let's continue, please. Into the stream, Josh, Pablo, Stell, Ken, and Justin, SB19. He didn't say Stel. Sí. Let's repeat this. Oh my god. Josh, Pablo, Stel, uh -huh. Ken, and Justin. Uh -huh. SB19. Hi everyone. <laughs> oh. Hello everyone. Good day, good day. What's up? Hi. Good morning and good evening. <laughs> How are you all doing? <laughs> yeah, good. How are you doing, you guys? We're doing great. We're very fine. Excited. Yeah, it's the first time here, so we're very honored. And glad. Yeah, no, happy to have you guys on. I'm, I've been really looking okay, forward to okay, this. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I'm smiling because George is always like, I don't speak English, but he's the one here, like, yes, what's up? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> leading all this already. <laughs> For so long. And uh, first of all, you look great. I love the outfits. Everybody's looking great today. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you so much. That was the report. Thank, Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I, I wanted to start off our chat today, our, our big conversation with um, uh, 
your band and SB19 has only been around for a few years, but I know it's amassed such a, such a really great following. And um, I want to take it from before you even started to the band. And uh, you've all really had an interesting journey to get where you are currently. And uh, I I'm wondering where it all started and what are your beginning memories for each of you with music? Um, back, uh, back in 2016, our company, Shobiti Philippines, um, hold an audition for, they're looking for professional performers uh, to work for them. And back then, I was working as a data analyst, and I was really, really, um, you know, <laughs> I was sick because I, my, my dream was to become a performer. So I, I, I quit my job, Why I resigned my and job, and um, audition <laughs> on, the, on the company. And fortunately, I was, able, I was admitted uh, with uh, these guys. Uh, wow. Can you? Yeah, I think our uh, first Josh, uh, speaking English, music, what? Uh, <laughs> yes, our, uh, our, our first memory with music. Um, maybe I can share mine first. Yes, uh, please. Uh, if, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, uh, when I was a kid, about nine years old or ten, um, my parents and my grandparents used to. Uh, oh, they always pushes me to, you know, sing. And oh, he's so cute when speaking English. <laughs> I can. In our home, because we have this family karaoke in our house, oh. in our house, and they always push me to. Can you sing a song for us when we have family events, birthdays, or? <laughs> Oh my God, my mom used to do that with us. When yes. we were five years old and they gave us like one or two pesos when we used to sing. No, I remember even seven pesos. I remember How one or two pesos. <laughs> <laughs> but mom was like, oh yes, they sing, they sing. I didn't know. <laughs> I actually did. I had no idea that we were singing well. I had no idea. Yeah, I was just like, why is people like acting like us if we are doing a big deal? Right especially now? at church, you know? <laughs> especially oh at church. God. Or every, every time we used to go to a different church, they were like, oh, yes, these kids, they can sing. Yeah. And they used to give us some pesos after we sang. And we were like, oh, like, that was highly motivating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's so, see what Stell says. Can you sing Anything? a song for us? No, it's too, it's too early, right? It's too early. Maybe later. I, I, hey, I heard we have a game later. It's and never too I early, Stell. Never too early to hear from you. So. Never too early. Oh, oh, really? I believe the door open. Hey. Hey. Oh, I, yes. Where I was. Uh, where I am. Oh, oh, yeah, so I, remember, cute. I remember. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, when I was a kid, my parents always, uh, you know, they pushes me to perform everywhere, my, our house. Oh, our, I said you uh, and, and Josh, they are curando. Sí. Friends' house, and that's when I realized that I have a talent in singing. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to, you know, improve my skill in dancing, not on singing. And oh. when I was in high school, they enrolled me in a vocal class, in a voice lessons, but I. I didn't like it at first because mm -hmm. I want to pursue more on dancing. But when I met this wonderful guys right here, that's when I that's when I decided to maybe I can just pursue my singing skills. Mm. Yeah, that's all. I was thinking a lot of English. Why does yeah, he speak well, you can a lot of English? Yeah, but can see that he's kind of nervous. Yeah, but this is because it's an interview for the Rolling, Rolling Stones. Stones I, 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 but like he doesn't speak English so often in SP19 related stuff. No, and not he's at all. great and he got, has great fluency. <laughs> he's better than me. So of why? Why? They why are all better why? than us. <laughs> they live in a country yeah, that course, English, the, is the, English second is the second language. language. We don't. So why? Why? <sighs> no split, guys. Wow. Really cool. And, uh, uh, and, and it also, I, I see, uh, Justin, you wanted to say something? Justin? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, didn't, I didn't really ask that. I didn't really realize that I was uh, answering the wrong question. <laughs> no, no, it's great. You gave us some really cool information there, actually, Pablo, because I, you said that you were a data analyst uh, before yep. moving into music. And... Um, I'm wondering, uh, for all of you too, but uh, Pablo especially too, uh, what was the transition like from 
like a job, like working a job like that into doing music full time for all of you? Um, it was really, how can I say this? Because it's, uh, for, uh, we're, we're, I'm not really sure what's going to happen if I focus full time on music. Uh, we trained for three years, but we're not really receiving anything. Uh, for 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 that three years, we we just train, go go back. What to is house. sell we, we and have, just thing like they have their own it's not thing enough to, you know, back then. Um, for to eat three times a day. And Ken is would, not there. Uh, just sleep, uh, <laughs> no, he's in listening. The, in our studio he's very. So that we wouldn't he's waste, listening. Uh, the money for I transportation. I hope he We just save it for uh, the food that we could get. Uh, in that small amount. Josh is listening. Um, it was really, really hard. And people around me tell me that uh, you should stop now because it's already been three years and nothing has been happening into your career. So, yeah, I, I feel like um, I, I would, all of us were about to, like, really give up that time. But Go Up Happened, that's our second single. That's when we blew up and uh, people started to recognize our group and i'm really 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 thankful to these guys and to myself that i didn't give up i i pushed hard and now we're here uh i'm just really, really <laughs> and thankful to all look every time estelle does something like this <laughs> Josh is like mijo comportate we are big an international interview <laughs> No. <laughs> and Justin just smiles. That's beautiful. And, like, and uh, yeah, you you did mention I, that. Uh, I'm actually I, happy that Stell is, is being Stell. Yeah, go of up. Uh, you guys came out with a uh, <laughs> dance practice video uh, for Go Up, and that really like exploded everything. And that's really really cool. And uh, you know, in that time, because in 2018 you also released uh, Tila Lua um, before Go Up. And uh, what was that time period like? You said you were really trying to. Um, make your music and trying to take one last kind of shot and making music. Uh, but what was that time like? Was there a lot of pressure on you? There were lots. I mean, here in the Philippines, it's really, really hard. Um, the <laughs> first thing wanted is, to say of something. course, financial problem. We're not the really um, that well off to start with. Uh, all of us were working before, um, except Justin and Ken. They were students, mm -hmm. but um, me, Josh, and Stella, still work as a in a fast food chain uh josh work as a call center agent um we just we just put all of our trust with each other and uh hope that everything will work and i mean miraculously I everything what fast worked food i mean chain is it? i cried i cried so hard <laughs> when <laughs> our when our song go up when our song go blew up and uh uh, I said to myself, uh, uh, you did right. I don't know anybody's name today, okay? Something like that. Yeah. Josh I, looks I can so fresh. Yes. I just wanted to ask, uh, to add to something add. also. Um, because, <laughs> <laughs> to add something. Uh, um, you're asking uh, questions. <laughs> uh, because, um, as, as a dreamer, as a dreamer, uh, as, as B19, before when we released our first single, Tila um, because as a dreamer, of course, we, we are expecting something that after all this hard work, after we, we, we exercised everything, we, we practiced all night, um, we, we are expecting that there's going to, some, we're, there's going to happen or something that, something, something's going to happen. And then, um, but then reality. after that, but the reality is that there's, like, it's like, yeah, there's no progress. <laughs> if you can't see any progress, it's very depressing, it's very sad, but yeah. then that's why that that's why we we came to to the point wherein we're just like okay it's our last shot let's just give it all and if it's if it didn't still, work yeah if it still didn't work um we're going to stop but then we're very thankful that because we didn't stop we were I'm here fortunate. now yeah. <laughs> that um that <laughs> time I really thought I was done for because I came from a very very poor family and before I auditioned. Uh, I came from a really far, far away place, <laughs> like a very he, remote place in the Philippines. He lives so, in the province. I yeah, I, li I live in the I province. I thought you live in the... Yeah. And then, I, I, it's like I risked my life just to join this group. And that time we, we talked, like, <laughs> this, this is going to be a lot. A lot. <laughs> they cannot be serious for five no. seconds. But <laughs> yeah, we saw it, Josh. <laughs> and then I, I thought to myself, like, man, what, what am I going to do after this? 
So I was really nervous, and then one day, uh, the dan dance practice was discovered by someone and posted it on Twitter. So I was really shocked. Oh my God! I think we. <laughs> Okay. I love his accent. Yeah, we've been, uh, I have been given a one last chance to yeah. prove to prove ourselves. Uh, we've been given one last chance to prove ourselves, and yeah. So yeah. Is this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, uh, that song was really oh. overwhelming so, because yeah, so um, we've experienced like seven people <laughs> watching us, three people watching us, twenty people watching us. But when we blew up, like, oh god, oh my god, is this really happening? Are people really starting to recognize us? Yeah. And that's when we start getting schedules and events. Interviews. And, and, and <laughs> we, we thought that oh, we're really, really blessed that we, we held on. I, think, I, I just want to thank everyone who, who su supported us. And, all of, yeah. of course, the members who held on. <laughs> Very great, great, very good. I love that. And, uh, it's so good to hear that. From you guys. And, uh, obviously, I'm so happy that it did work out, and you're here with me right now. And uh, I, you know, I've noticed something really, really cool is that I feel like you guys have such a really good connection with your audience and a connection with the music, but you also have a very strong connection with each other. Um, do you remember how you first met uh, and what your thoughts were on each other when you first met? <laughs> well, me and Stell were basically uh, group mates from uh, uh, from a dance group right. before. But then I met, yeah, I actually met Ken afterwards, then Justin. Then uh, I was the one who introduced them to the, my company and told them... My like, company? I, I actually... <laughs> Our Your company. company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know he bought show me. <laughs> the new pop C is the C is for cooling. Okay? Oh, yeah. cooling. <laughs> what are you? Oh. Digo cooling. I don't know. <laughs> what he means is that he was the one who brought them to show me. <laughs> yes. I mean, Stop it. yeah. First, I asked. I asked them for uh, what what their dream is. So I asked their dreams, their visions in life. So. He's, I'm always curious about how people think about life and how people think about, uh, you know, performing and everything. And then they answered me. Actually, they, they got me. Like they, they really touched my heart and, you know, my beliefs. Wow. So I told myself, I think they're the right person to audition for, uh, you know, the, the other spot for our group. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I told them, yeah, maybe you could join us. Maybe you, could, you guys could... Uh, condition as well, and let's let's achieve our dreams. And of course, we we met Pablo in this in the company after we auditioned uh, together with Stell. And yeah, we from the, then afterwards it was history. <laughs> yeah. Um. At first, they they thought of me as a weird person. <laughs> uh, until now, don't worry. Until <laughs> <laughs> right now. We have a really in intelligent. Uh, we, we, actually, all of the trainees thought that. Pablo is a very weird person because when we have uh, training and even break time, we can see Pablo on on the side of the studio. I think he's talking to himself or <laughs> maybe doing something crazy with, him, with with alone. I think he's doing something like weird, weird dances uh, yeah, and weird, weird gestures, <laughs> gestures, and some, sometimes uh, you can see him alone, and then suddenly he will do like. <laughs> like that. So we, like, what is he doing? Is he, is he doing something uh, like a ritual or something? Uh, he was, he was writing, writing, writing song in his yeah, mind and, was and practicing and was practicing. Yeah, rap. I understand him because sometimes, <laughs> no, sometimes no. it happens that a song comes to my mind like a lyric and that like I want to try like. Oh, maybe with this melody and like I wanna do things, and I understand that people might think that you're crazy if you do that out loud, you know? Yeah. Honestly, now I don't, I don't do that. I only write my ideas and then, like, I start my writing process based on the idea. But like, I used to do this kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> You are weird. <laughs> sure, Anna but weird. when we talk to him after, after a month, not yeah, actually a month. Misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
just say. Actually, uh, uh, we 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 talk to him every day, but we're not sure if he's <laughs> <normal. laughs> if, he, if he's normal or not. <laughs> but, he, oh, go, go. he has been doing that until now, but I realized that he was just so hardworking. Mm. Uh, and it's normal because uh, I don't I don't know maybe he he knows that. Um, when it comes to dancing, he's not that uh, really good at memorizing the choreography. So, I often see him dance uh, solo <laughs> in front of the in front of our studio. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel he, like that's really... how we created the term, the zone. Yeah, because he's yeah. always in the zone. He's always practicing. Ah. He's always uh, into the zone of his crafts. So, yeah, basically that's it. Yeah. But I'm not weird. Somebody's <laughs> I mean, gonna say the impression of other people. Yeah, I think it's, it's not weird. <laughs> I'm just a normal person. He's normal. You can talk to me like a normal person. I will <laughs> smile at you. <laughs> well, I mean, speaking of that, like, you know, weird or not weird, um, I definitely think, like, a great word to describe the band and the group is, is very unique. Um, everybody has their own distinct personality, everybody has their own voice. And I love that that comes through for you all. And um, how um, how do you find that yourselves come through in the music uh, when you make it and when you perform it? You are the one who make the music, Pablo. Answer that question. Um, just like what you said, uh, we all have different. Señora, Josh, translation is yes, but Josh is the the one that always says that he doesn't uh, understand. He doesn't my know English, English is so bad. Oh, Josh yes. Colin, 2021. And a different taste in music. <laughs> Um, whenever I make music for the group, um, I try to incorporate uh, the styles of everyone, mm -hmm. the comfort zone of everyone, so that when we try to mix it up, mix it all up, it will still sound good. Um, for me, actually, the differences of each other is one of our strength because yeah. um, with those differences, we're, we're able to create something that's very distinct from from other groups mm -hmm. um very uh you, just like what you said very unique and i think uh, our strength combined together becomes another strength and it's really really nice because um you know it's it's the collaboration of everyone every I, I, the ideas of each of us uh yeah i think yeah and that's yeah. that's one one of our strengths yeah absolutely and Kind of speaking about your individuality and how, you know, that forms your group and how you make songs like that. I know um, uh, a lab like or burning uh, was a huge release for y'all. Um, and what was working on that particular song like for you? Because I know it was your first release on Sony as well. Which song? Alab. Burning. Ah, uh, burning. burning ah, has a lot burning. of versions. Yes. Actually, um, when we had our first concert, we were actually uh, told to perform that song, and we we we're, we're told to create a choreography in just a few hours, and uh, tomorrow or and already tomorrow is already the concert. So we were all breaking down how we're how, how are, are we, we going, going to, to do create? this? How are we going to create this? Um, <laughs> Stell is our main choreographer and also can also choreograph choreographs for us. If we could, we would we would help, but we were all breaking down that time because it's already. You know, it's a concert. It's not just a simple thing. People, hundreds of people are going to watch you perform. So it needs to be like at least, if not perfect, at least polished. So I guess. Uh, yeah, it was one of the. It was one of the you know, <laughs> nerve-wracking experiences, and uh, I think uh, through that experiences we managed to uh, revise it into another. Uh, uh, what do you call this version of? Yeah, Alam, and we managed to do it in, a, uh, in the concept that we wanted to in the very beginning. So, yeah, we, ma we brainstormed and uh, we talked about the creativity, the creative uh, of the music videos with Justin and er everyone. I love Justin. And then, yeah, we released it with the new version of He's Alam. The and we're very glad that like people liked it. And we're very glad that until now, it's, <laughs> it has it. been receiving lots of lots of attentions and Recognition. recognitions. Um, Alam also has like three versions, I think. Yeah. Uh, the first version was uh, in pure English. All of the lyrics were in really? English. Really? Uh, we tried to make another version with 
uh, English and Filipino, Tagalog. And then another version, the final version was uh, English, Filipino, and then with some rap verses. And we did that in Korea. And uh, yeah, I think we're, we're all quite satisfied with it. But the, the hardest part was shooting the music video because we stayed up like 27 hours straight. Yeah. So wow. the first version of Alab didn't have the second version is when they implode for I it. I said the not. first version ah, no, didn't no. have the no. rap. No, ni the no, Tagalo I tampoco. I this one out. Wow. And that's like, you know, that's like <laughs> the drop. Like, I mean, that's a, sta a staple of this song. Like, the music video. So we were, oh, yeah. we, there were no sleeping, <laughs> like <laughs> um, oh bottles of God. energy drinks and coffee. So uh, just to make coffee. the music video uh, look good. Oh my and God. I think that's one of the um, most memorable things that we will never ever forget. Wow. Wow. And, uh, and yeah. that video is super It's nice. very good. <laughs> they, very they didn't good look tired at all. At all. How the hell did they do that? <laughs> wow. And that was the I video just I fell in love with Josh I just, and I, his <laughs> legs. <laughs> I remember I fell in love with Ken in that video. And yeah, Ken the salvaje. was looking very salvaje and doing stunts and doing a lot of stuff. Thank you. On coffee and energy drinks. Oh my God. I applaud you, my friend. I applaud you. You talked about choreography. You mentioned that uh, Stella and Ken are a, a big hand in choreography and, and the dances and whatnot. And I'm wondering, uh, you know, what really inspires the choreography of the music videos and the live lyrics. performances for you guys? That's what I've seen, the lyrics. Mm. Let's, Let's go, Stel. <laughs> well, uh, uh, actually, honestly speaking, uh, I'm not a professional choreographer. Uh, I'm just, uh, you know, creating the craft. Why the you always put, put yourself, yourself down? down. No. Boy, you gotta acknowledge Guy, that. Guy, it's been like three years doing this. You are a professional choreographer, choreographer. already. What do you need? A title? Do you need a, a, a Nobody's going to give this? you a title that says that. <laughs> it's you who is going to take that title and say, I am a professional choreographer because I get, I get paid to do this. That's it. Still. Still. Grave. I feel like Estelle needs me in his life to boost his confidence. You are going to be his life coach. Yeah, yeah. Not his girlfriend. <laughs> 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 I can do both. <laughs> no. It's well, very unprofessional of a life coach oh to wow. have something with their clients. <laughs> oh, wow. Why do I feel like my heart just broke? <laughs> I know that I would never like have a romantic relationship with Stell because he's too young for me. But like, don't break a girl's At least I can dream about it. Yes, yeah, from what I learned when, when I was in high school, um, I'm just so thankful that I have this guys that can help me every time that when I can, you know, when I don't have this uh, good ideas and when I have uh when i'm you know i'm having a hard time to think to create uh, i can ask ken ken do you have any idea and then ken suddenly can can insert some of his choreography and others will also suggest but sometimes we have this uh clash of clashes of ideas that's why when we rehearse <laughs> um sometimes take so long yes sometimes some of them might you know punch someone in the face <laughs> Honestly, what? it's not sometimes we we like every day every day we argue <laughs> what's going to happen with our um our piece or our project because yeah, we because have different tastes in creativity so yeah. that's why we yeah we fought yes. with each other sometimes what we always try to sometimes. find the middle ground. i cannot imagine as when i think arguing arguing and fighting with each other i can because i watch uh these x mass film <laughs> and they and it felt so not real like <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, to it, me it, it felt bad. like they wouldn't be mad <laughs> if you watch only that clip without context 
you think that they really that this is from another thing and they are <laughs> arguing. <laughs> I watched it recently without context on Twitter and I'm like, oh my god, but Ken and Pablo are fighting. And then I, ah, oh, this is X, ma, mira la, la tipa ahí, okay. <laughs> so that everyone will be satisfied with what, what we're going to release. And I think it, we have really improved a lot. Yes. Uh, our chemistry has improved so much than before, but before we've been taking so long in making one choreography, maybe it'll take a month, but now I think we can finish, I think, uh, one day in one a day. day. Yes. Honestly, we... Uh, we studied uh recently we studied a choreography two choreographers for about uh, like three days two choreographies days. two whole song choreographies for, oh, wow. for three days yeah wow. to perfect we, yes, perfect because right now we have we we had a lot of things to do upcoming ep we have uh four we have three new dance songs and oh did i spoil something no yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just told me that the three songs are half a choreography. Yes, Estelle, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I love it. The concert is going to be so lit. I know, right? Oh, my God. It's okay. Um, we have three new dance songs, so I, I told them maybe I can just create one choreography for one song, and then we can hire someone that can help us. We can hire a choreographer that can help us to create the choreography. And... We are thankful that we we have our choreographer right now. He can help us a lot. And right now we we finish all the choreographies, and we are very thankful. And we are ready for the concert. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And, uh, you, you know, you mentioned that the EP is coming out. It's coming out at midnight, uh, wherever everybody is tonight locally. And uh, to talk about your recent music, uh, one of your recent singles, Mappa. Um, I really love that song. I know there's a few different versions of it out there too, uh, and I'm just wondering wh what the um, what the themes are you're working with in that song and what it means to you. Because uh, um, mapa me uh, is like uh, mapa is is a Tagalog word for map specifically yeah. for like the map where we look for our directions and mapa is like a com combination of two words which is mama and papa it means that the song is for our parents and um as as a part of it of our flexible album that talks about our roots we want to we want to share um how we feel about our parents we want to share that our parents is one of our guide that helps us to continue to this journey and reach our dreams so um it, it is that's what map cool yeah, I, and it did, definitely came across in the song, too, very emotional. And uh, kind of also talking about what you have coming up. I, I know you have uh, Back in the Zone on August 1st, an online concert. Uh, talk to me about preparing for that and uh, if you're really, really excited to um, to perform. Yes. There yeah, we have been hard. sleeping in... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we have been sleeping there recently. But, yeah, we've been preparing for it... Uh, I'm I'm sure that a lot of people or our fans will love it because we're unlike before that they've heard uh, uh, most of our songs. Right now, it's gonna be a new thing for them. It's gonna be new new for everything. I think it's gonna be the first time for everything, first performances of our new songs. Yeah. So yes. I'm sure it's gonna be explosive and yeah, they have a lot of. I don't want to spoil anything, but they 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 should watch it and. We have a lot of performances and preparations that ongoing in uh, internal and what do you call this? External. <laughs> yeah, and Sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've lost words. Yeah, and every song is title track worthy, so we've been really working hard for it. I have to say that King is feeling very comfortable in talking in English. Yeah, more yeah. than in Tagalog. Yeah, he's participating <laughs> even more in this interview than in any other interview he has been. <laughs> that's a good sign for yeah, me. That's, that's a good sign <laughs> for me. Uh, and uh, these well, days, um, you know, their their uh, public events are prohibited. You know, we couldn't really, you know, see each other face to face. Yeah. But uh, in this concert, uh, we'll make sure that. Every penny, every uh, centavo that they're going to pay for the ticket uh, is going to be worth it because uh, we don't want uh, uh, their money to be wasted just to watch a uh, virtual concert. Thank we you, want it to be uh, Something that they will never expect. 
and something that they will be proud of and be happy with. Oh. Thank you, thank you. That ticket was and so expensive. Also, I, I know oh you have had so many <laughs> achievements in the past few years, especially um, a lot of firsts when it comes to music That's from the so Philippines or Filipino music, uh, especially on Billboard and so many different uh, charts on Billboard, like for Next Big Sound and for Social 50. You've been up on all of those. And um, I I'm wondering wh what those achievements mean to you and uh, kind of being one of the first groups from the Philippines to achieve something like that. Well, <laughs> it's our biggest achievement, honestly, uh, one of our biggest achievements. But, yeah, we, we're really thankful that a lot of groups has been following us. Yeah, have been following us. And, like, they said that we are one of their inspirations in pushing this uh, industry. And we're very glad that we are... Uh, we are one of the instruments that have been, that have uh, that could make these kinds of opportunities possible. Because one of our main goals is really to uh, promote the culture of the Philippines, the talents of the Filipinos all over the world. So yeah, we're getting there slowly, and I think we're doing great. And I just want to add that um, these achievements add up. Uh, gives pressure to us, but not. Um, it's a good pressure that pushes us to, to strive harder, to do better, because um, we're seeing a result for, from our hard work. So um, this um, achievement uh, pushes us to, to show more from, from, for ourselves, for, for other people, and, and um, to do better. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, I know, guys, uh, thanks for chatting with me. I know we're going to go to a... Uh, a quick break. We're going to have your music video for what play right now, but uh, when we come back, we're going to hop into another segment with you guys. So uh, thanks for being here. Yes. Oh, I want to see the, the other segment is uh, they create a mixtape with oh. all their favorite songs and blah, blah, blah. Okay. But yeah. it's like, it's still more footage and we don't have a lot of time. But yes, it was very nice, interesting, very yeah. nice interview, and I am glad that he asked about the beginnings of the group. So people that they don't know about XB19, they feel like they know how this group started, and they start supporting them right away. So that's right. I'm so proud of our boys. They did great. Yes. No yes. nosebleed. <laughs> no nosebleed. <laughs> very, very good English. They were very responsive. They were being themselves. They were very authentic. And, yes. you know, just answering their, their, his questions like as if they know him from before they they are very friendly yes in that matter i like that a lot about sb you know yes. if i ever get the chance to interview him yes <laughs> i hope they also treat me like part of his uh, their friends my english is so bad <laughs> <laughs> guys oh watch God. this video that appears right here recommended the youtube's algorithm especially, especially for, for you so click on it right, right now, now. Thank you. 